Hello everybody and welcome to brand new expansion season announcing Perils in Paradise. Hearthstone's next expansion. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get through this. We got an announced video if you want to watch. It's really amazing. Let's get right into the business. So we're getting a new keyword called Tourist and we already got announced two cards, a Paladin and a Death Knight. The Paladin is a 5 mana 2-6, a Rogue Tourist and what the Tourist mean you can actually build the deck with this card in a Rogue deck and as well a Paladin deck which is amazing and the card says your spells that cost two or less cast twice. I wonder how would that work with preparation and shadow step. <laughs> and 5 mana 5 5 undead called Buttons. It's a shaman tourist with the butter cry that says draw a spell of each spell school. Which means pretty useful if you want to draw amazing combos. And here's where each class is heading. So Paladin, it's going to Rogue because we already saw that it's a Rogue tourist. Rogue is going to be a Warlock Tourist, Warlock is going to be a Death Knight, and for the people wondering how are the runes going to work, well, if the card has runes, the Warlock is going to treat the card with runes as Death Knight does. Basically, it gets a rune set at the top of the deck, which means you cannot play crazy runes combinations, because there are going to be limitations by runes, as intended. And... Uh, um, next on, we've got Death Knight to Shaman. We already got a card. Pretty amazing. I assume there's gonna be more tourist cards. Shaman goes to Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter goes to Priest, Priest goes to Hunter, Hunter goes to Warrior, Warrior goes to Druid, Druid goes to Mage, and Mage goes to Paladin. Very awesome. Refreshing Drinks, a new kind of spell thing, which we've seen in the past. So basically, you have uh, a spell that's basically casting third times, but you have to spend mana on it. So it's very interesting how it works. Um, we got here a fire spell for shaman to mana, malted magma, which uh, does one damage to all enemies, three drinks left. You can use this three times. It's like a echo effect, but three times. You know, we had the same similar card for hunter. Hunter had a similar card. I mean, still has. Exciting destinations. We got a new location for a druid class, I assume. Right? It's um, Hiking Trail. 3 mana, 3 durability. Discover a ton minion after you gain armor. Reopen this. Quite interesting. I wonder if you hear a power, does does work? I mean, I assume it works. And we got a new minion, a new legendary that we are all getting for free if you're opening the game right now and play the game. You can get this card for absolutely nothing. It's a 7 mana 6 6 pirate marine, the manager, but the cry choose a fantastic treasure, shuffle the other three into your deck. It's a pirate. Pretty interesting, the treasure are absolutely mind-blowing, super amazing. 3 mana 6, 6, taunt by the cry, replace your hand with legendary minions. Just like Rafam does, but does not replace the deck as well. Wondrous Wand, 3 mana spell, draw 3 cards, reduce their cost to 0. Amazing treasure. Uh, Tolin's Goblet, 3 mana as well, draw cards and fill your hand with copies of it. Works with anything, even plagues. I tested today. <laughs> and Zarog's crown, discover a legendary minion, summon two copies of it. And the discovery effect is quite interesting. I don't think that it worked like this before, but you also get the legendary in your hand, which is a plus. I got Leroy in my hand. <laughs> was nice. Okay, so pre-purchase uh, Perils in Paradise now. Very amazing. Very good deals by pre-purchasing. Basically, 90 packs sounds like a good deal. You also get a signature legendary and a golden legendary and a hero and a car back. The hero is a hunter hero. 
as well the 60 packs one very nice good deal very gorgeous car back two legendaries and amazing stuff and of course we've got more things to discuss patch notes ladies and gentlemen patch notes of course we already talked about this uh, right now baku and gen returning to the core set i assume everybody knows by now what baku and gen does but let's re write history shall we i mean <laughs> we, are, we do that every day so again gray main is a six mana six five minion with the start of game effect if your deck has only even cost cards your starting hero power costs one mana and baku is a nine mana beast with seven attack and eight health as well start of game if your deck has has only odd cost cards upgrade your hero power and i assume you know what the upgraded hero powers look like mage gets one extra damage hunter gets one extra damage warlock takes no damage with shaman you can choose what totem you want to summon um priest heals for four warrior has four armor and what else is there that knight summons a two one would charge a dice um demon hunter gets a two damage hero power and what other classes are there druid plus two attack and plus two armor and so back and so forth and here we are having uh, an announcement for buddies are being introduced once again in battlegrounds and you can play with them right now for free i just played and it's delightful very amazing in-game event Midsummer Fire Festival. So many packs, tons of packs, and a cool new rogue hero. July twist season. Even more heroes we are getting. Marine the manager. You can pause and read what they do. Quite amazing. We get Lady Leodrin. We are getting Sargeras the Destroyer, super nice. Elite Torrent Champion. Halvera Dark, Dark Raven. Heartbreaker Hedens. Hedenis? Really, really difficult to pronounce those names. Torin Stormlord. And Queen Azara. As well, Thompson Rome. And we are getting some changes to Diamond Disenchanting update. So starting with the patch 29.6, most Diamond cards will be able to disenchant for the same value as if they were Golden cards. Meaning if the card that's Diamond you purchase with real money, you can finally get a refound. I think that's how it works. Matchmaking updates. There's some... Uh, Changes over there too, passive XP current adjustments for bots and a lot of bug fixes, a lot of bug fixes. Now let's go and check out the cards we've got for the new expansion. Um, cards library, let's go into the cards library, please. Come on, all right. And we got here, and we can talk about all of these new cards. If we can. Let me adjust this real quick for you. So we can read the cards properly. Oh, please. The game bugged. Um, okay, can we move the next card? Mm, no bugs we found some bugs okay now we can okay oh are you kidding me what's wrong with this thing oh man <laughs> technical difficulties ladies and gentlemen apparently okay all right just don't click on the card it's dangerous let's read the new cards this is the most exciting part isn't it Pretty Taft, two mana rogue spell, I assume, looks like a rogue spell. Right. 
get two random co one cost spells from other classes. This could be quite helpful, especially one cost spells that do so much for their cost nowadays. Absolutely amazing card for rogue players that want to play some Cutlass Rogue. Uh, a Frost Orb, Frost spell for that knight. Corpsicle. Deal 3 damage, spend 3 corpses to return this to your hand at the end of your turn. At the end of your turn. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the mechanics in in place. Alright. Do you guys remember Mage? Yeah. Yeah, we all do. Alright, absolutely great card for Frost that night. But will Frost that night become the new meta after this? We'll see. A shaman card, which is a 4 mana 3 3 naga with the Badak Rider reads reduce the cost of a spell of each school in your hand by two. You already saw the new legendary, and you can combine that one with this one and do some impressive combos. But I would say mage would have been much better for that situation. But here we are. Maybe shaman gets some uh, light in the tunnel. Now we got a 3 mana weapon for paladin with 3 attack and 2 durability. After your hero attacks, get a one cost sunscreen that gives plus one, plus two. Is this going to replace the four mana weapon for hand buff paladin? We'll have to say. Volley, maul, it's pretty gorgeous, but we'll see how it goes. Moving on to a two mana, two, two, natural, neutral pirate. With the Battle Cry that reads, discover a location from any class, which means you can discover the priest location. I wonder if you discovered the legendary Yogg location. That would be amazing, because I would play this in every single deck. 6 mana, 6 for Pirate, with the Battle Cry that reads, if you control another Pirate, equip a random weapon from your deck. We've seen synergies like this before, and uh, it's a 7 mana card that does equip a weapon from your deck. Weapons attendant could be quite very useful for some specific combos, but we'll see how that goes because I don't quite see the point of this card right now, but maybe somebody will find. Arena card, that's for sure. Great arena card, that's for sure. Another 2 mana 2 2 Morlock that's also a pirate with a dash roll that reads get a random drink spell. It has three uses. Drink Servant, absolutely amazing. There's plenty of drinks you can drink in Hearthstone now, and you will definitely love this. Moving on to another location, which we already know what it does. Discover a ton minion after you gain armor. Reopen this. Hiking Trail, absolutely gorgeous, stunning animation and card art, that is. Um, buttons, we know what that does. Suns, Cyper. Linessa. We know what that does. Absolutely gorgeous. AFK. 5 mana, 0 attack, 5 health. At the end of your turn, give all other friendly minions that didn't attack plus 2, plus 2. Amazing and very interesting. We'll see where do we put this. A very valuable card nonetheless. Um, 2 mana fire spell for Shaman. Melted. Malted Magma. Great. Marine, the manager, gorgeous, we know what that does, and that's all folks for now. Well, I hope I can make more amazing update videos for the upcoming expansion, Perils in Paradise, which is coming... When is this coming? When is this expansion coming? Perils in Paradise launches on July 23rd with 145 new cards you can find you can find the perils in paradise reveal schedule and all cards that have already been revealed by visiting the official card library check back often for more fun in the sun don't forget to wear sunscreen <laughs> all right well ladies and gentlemen Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Perils in Paradise? Let's get right into it. Bye-bye, everybody. See you in the next one.